Hi, I'm Steve Clemens. I'm a lecturer here at Windesheim uh, Honors College. And uh, this is the first of a series of knowledge clips. And this first one is about something really tough, uh, namely the uh, uh, absolute versus comparative advantage. Hi, my name is Mohit. Hi, I'm Benita from Windesheim. <laughs> <laughs> First off, we will start with the absolute advantage. This is the ability of one country to produce a product more efficiently than another country. We will look at this absolute advantage with a few numbers. So this table is a simplified version of the world and it shows how many hours Germany and the Netherlands need to produce these two products, Capsulon and Bratwurst. Making Capsulon takes 5 hours in the Netherlands and 10 hours in Germany. Here the Netherlands has an advantage. However, making Bratwurst in Germany takes 5 hours but 10 hours in the Netherlands. So here we can see that Germany has an advantage in making Bratwurst. This is a clear case of an absolute advantage where Germany should focus on producing Bratwurst and the Netherlands should focus on producing Capsulon. So instead of each country making Capsulon and Bratwurst, they would both become more wealthier if they allow themselves to specialize and trade. We talk of a comparative advantage when one country has an advantage in producing all the products. What is the other country then going to do? In this new situation, we can see that the Netherlands is better at making both Capsulon and Bratwurst. But what should Germany produce then? We can see here that Germany is 50% worse at making Bratwurst than the Netherlands. And we can see that Germany is 100% worse in making Capsulon than the Netherlands. So Germany should focus on making the product they have the smallest disadvantage in. They should focus on making what they're least worst at, 